So hi guys, my name is Izzy. I'm a sporadic YouTuber. Today I'm going to be giving you guys my Grinchathon TBR. If you don't know what Grinchathon is or if you missed the announcement video, I'll try to link it up above or down below. I'll probably forget because I suck. So the first challenge is a cool down book. I am going to pick Unhooked. Um, by Lisa Maxwell, mostly because the colors are very soothing as well. Like, look at all these, like, blues and dark. It's just like a dark color. It kind of looks like they're floating on water, although I think that star is there. But, um, it just reminds me of the beach. Mmm, the beach at night. Mmm. The next challenge is travel. I am going to pick Furthermore by Tara Maffi. I probably just murdered her name. Wow. I didn't know that she was engaged, I mean married, I think she's married, to Ransom Riggs. They have a kid together. Have I been living under a rock, you guys? Like, what is going on? Anyway, I'm going to pick this one for my travel book um, because in this book, um, the main character is going on an adventure. She's traveling to try to find her father, I believe, and to bring him home. So it even says, travel through the mythical dangerous land of Furthermore. The next challenge, challenge number three, is dark. Something dark, something creepy, or with, some, with black on the cover. You know, we manipulate these however we want. I'm going to pick The Pigeon by Patrick Swisskind. I absolutely love Patrick Swisskind's writing style. It's just great. So I'm, he wrote one of my favorite books of all time, which is actually On Love and Death, which is nonfiction. And I just, I love it so much. So um, this is what I'm going to pick. This is supposed to be super, super creepy and eerie, and it's supposed to be, like, similar to, like, Edgar Allan Poe-like terror. That's what it says here. So, we shall see. I'm really excited to get to this one, though. So, the next challenge is immigrants. For this challenge, I am going to read Watched by Maria Budos. Um, this sounds really, really, really interesting. It deals with Muslim Americans, and I believe they live in an immigrant neighborhood in Queens. Um, and yeah, there's like cameras everywhere watching everyone and it sounds really, really interesting. Also, if you are looking for an amazing book that deals with immigration, I recommend The Book of Unknown Americans. Um, these, this is a beautiful, beautiful book, one of my favorite books, and it deals with a family who picks up and moves from Mexico to the U.S. Um, to have a better opportunity for their daughter who ends up mentally handicapped after an accident. And it's a really, really beautiful book. It's amazing, and it's everything, and I really, really recommend you go pick it up um, if you're looking for one for this challenge. See if your local library has it, or whatever. It's beautiful. It's a really great book. Really recommend. The next challenge is a read an LGBTQIA plus book. Um, uh, basically a pride book. It could not even have be an LGBTQIA plus book and feature any of that. It could just be a book that looks pride-ish. Then maybe it has rainbow on the cover. Maybe it's rainbow colors. That That's enough for me. Um, but for this one, I am going to pick Leia on the Offbeat um, by Becky Abertelli. I've purposely been saving this for Grinchathon because I'm really, really excited about it and I've just been saving it. The next challenge is a hard topic. Um, so for this one, I'm going to pick Hold Still by Nina LaCour. This one deals with grief. I believe um, a girl loses like her best friend, um, like she dies, and she's just going through the grieving process of it. Um, we Are Okay also dealt, dealt with grief and is a beautiful, beautiful book. If you're looking for something that deals with a hard topic, I feel it is like one of the most accurate portrays of grief that I have ever, ever read. So the last challenge is a random pick. I... I'm going to pick uh, The Oster Academy. This is book five in this series of unfortunate events. So there you have it. That is my TBR for my readathon. I am really excited. Hopefully I can get to all these. But if I don't, it's no big deal. My readathon is super laid back. The number one thing is not to stress. <laughs> the at Grinchathon Twitter will be where all the Twitter sprints will be happening. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. If I'm going to, I might make like a formal schedule. And then if I feel like doing extra random bouts throughout the week, I'll just, you know, hop on there and talk to you guys. If you make a TBR, please let me know in the comment section below so I can go check it out. Um, if you make a video, if you post an Instagram picture, if you tweet about it, just let me know because I love, love, love seeing how you guys manipulate these challenges. But anyway, I love you guys. I hope you enjoy the readathon and I will see you over at the Grinchathon Twitter and on my Twitter and on Instagram and everywhere. If you're participating in my readathon, please, please, please comment down below. I got to know, even if you don't make a TBR, I got to know who's hanging out with me. I just like to know. It's nice. Anyway, I love you guys. Peace. I'm out. Goodbye. All that fun stuff. Bye.